Hi, it's me again with CorelDraw Tips and Tricks. Somebody's trying to split this image in half. They, she says when they split it with the knife tool that it blacks out. And I don't have that problem. Uh, first of all, it's got that white background. But if we take the knife tool and go across, well, it worked a while ago. There we go. I just wasn't started on the edge good enough. Uh, I don't know where they want to split it, but it does split it now. I've got my gap on two inches. I'm going to say uh, none, and then I'm going to get my knife tool, and I'm going to just swipe through the image, and you can see it split it. Um, that might have been one of the problems. There might have been two copies. Anyway, what I... You know, I don't know if they're printing this. Uh, so in the future, anybody sends me, um, well, first of all, send me this JPEG already in Corel. And that way I'll know I've got some more knife marks, but so I'm going to back it up quite a bit and make sure we start with a good image. <clears throat> it's pretty sharp. It's got some coloration, uh, but if that works, but... I would think you'd want to get rather back the the white background. So let's do this. I enlarged it quite a bit. Let's reduce it and make it quite small. It is it's a little bit more than three inches. So let's make our nudge factor four, and let's hit the plus key on the keyboard and, and make a duplicate. And then let's trace outline trace. So go to bitmap, outline, trace, clip art, and let's trace it. <clears throat> and we get, and see it really reduced most of the black or most of the white. There's a little bit left, but it's not going to be, it, well, it is good. It's still, it's, it's, it's actually sharp. Uh, I would use this, but then you need to go to uh, object group and ungroup it and then you can get rid of that white. So now you have a background. Now, if you want to split this, um, two ways you could do it. Um, I don't use the knife tool very much, but let's just see if it works. And, well, okay, let me back up here. I need to group it together. So, I'm going to take away my yellow box now that we don't have any white background. And I'm going to select it all. I'm going to go to object group and group it together. And then let's try our knife tool. I don't know where they want to cut it in half, but I'm going to say like right there. And well, it didn't work. It put a line across it. Um, let's try that again. Um, I don't like the knife tool. Well, I don't use the knife tool. Um, and this is probably one of the reasons why. So I don't like that. The other way you could do it. So I'm going to make sure I got rid of those lines. Let's do this. Let's put a rectangle and then put another rectangle. I'm going to hit the plus key and then take this rectangle and put it right on top of the other one. I'm not quite big enough, so I'm gonna make it a little bigger. And, and now what we can do is take that rectangle, make a duplicate of the Indian, select it all, and go intersect. There you have half the Indian. Select this one, go up to intersect, and now you have the other half, and it is split in half. And it's good. It's good uh, quality. Um, so let's look back at the bitmap or the JPEG. And you can tell it is by the bounty box when you move it. And let's look at this emblem on their head, their headdress versus this one. Pretty sharp. Uh, I believe that would print. Um, you know, there's some, it did really good. Uh, I wouldn't. I don't know that I would do anything. And, and of course, with, <clears throat> with this image, you can go to object, group, and ungroup it. 
and you could change the colors of the feathers if you wanted to. Let's see what happens when we do this one with red. Yep, it worked. And then you could make this red one. One, you could take that just away and have that, or you could make it. Uh, let me back up here where I've got it selected. You could make it green. You could do anything you want to with it. I'm real curious why they're splitting the image in half. And, you know, regardless <clears throat> of what they're doing, it's a pretty neat graphic. Anyway, I hope that helped them a little bit. And thank you for watching.